when do I water my winter sowing containers? Or do I water my winter sowing containers? How do I know when to water my winter sowing containers? I get all of these questions every day in our winter sowing veggie growing uh, Facebook group, which I hope you uh, join. Go down the link and um, join us. Um, which is a great question. How do I know when to water? First off, let's talk, should you have to water winter sowing containers? My first year, I only watered twice or three times the entire season because we were pouring rain all spring. They, so they had snow all winter, rain all spring, lots of good moisture. I didn't have to water. That's normal. Okay, last year, we didn't have as much rain. The weather was really changing. The climate was changing. I watered a lot because it was so dry. And guess what? I overwatered and got algae growing in some of the containers. It didn't kill my plants, but it's kind of a pain to have algae in your container, so you don't want to overwater. So I'm going to tell you four different ways to know how you need to water your winter sowing containers. And if I missed one, make sure you get out in the comment section and let everybody know and let me know, because it's really important to know when to water, because if you water too little, they'll die. If you water too much, they'll get algae and there'll be a swamp in there. So what's the number way, one way to know? Number one way is condensation. Okay, look at that. See all that beautiful water inside there? That's all inside the container. That is your number one way to know they're fine. Leave them alone, okay? You can see it's starting to dry up in this one. Just a little condensation there. Another good reason to have clear containers, and you, if you can, but milk jugs are fine too. See that one? No condensation. But here on the white one, you can see the condensation. So even in the white containers, you can see it. See that one right there? No condensation. I need to water today. That's what made me uh, make this video. And Cherie from our group mentioned to me yesterday, Cheryl, tell us when to water. Thank you, Cherie, for mentioning that. Now this one over here, okay, what's, that's number one, condensation. Number two, the weight of the container. Like you get to where you have a feeling when they're full of water, like it thuds, this one's full of water. I pulled this one out, it's light. And I even kind of tip it and the whole soil like slid inside as a lump. It shouldn't have that. So number two is the weight is lighter. The water has dried up and it's just soil in there. Number three is it actually looks fluffy when you look in there and you kind of shake it around and the soil's kind of dusty it's too dry. So if you have no condensation, it's light and it's fluffy in there moving around, you need to water. And number four is the color, the color of your soil. Let's see if I can see one. It's, you just get a feel of it. When it's wet, it's dark. You can just tell it's wet. When it's drying out, it turns light. This one's starting to turn light. So you need to water. So those are four ways I know to tell me that I need to water. And of course, I mean, you just know the weather. If it's been 80 degrees five days in a row, you've probably killed them all if you haven't watered. Watch your weather. Be aware of your climate. And don't just leave your, your containers out there and never pay attention to them. They, they need some love, container love. So check them every day. So what else did I want to say? Okay, three ways to water. And then I'll show you how I water them. Number one, my favorite way is just spray them. I have this great wand. I love this thing. Watering wand. Walmart, under $10. Oh, I almost sprayed myself right while I'm videoing you. <laughs> I've got the water on. And it has like jet and mist, center. It's got all nine different settings on it. So I just love that one. I spray them. A lot of people don't. They're afraid of disrupting the seeds. I haven't had any problem with disrupting the seeds. And I don't have the patience to do the next way I was going to tell you. Okay, so spraying as a group, I just spray, 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 which I'll show you in a second. Number two way is to hand pour into the container with like a watering can. Now, what's that going to do? First off, if you hand pour, you've got to tip it and let the water go gently down the side so it slides in on the side of the soil so it doesn't disrupt your seeds, right? Because if you just like pour water right in here, your delicate, you know, say if you had some smaller light seeds, lettuce or something, they're gonna get all floating around and pulled up and uprooted. So you don't just pour water in top, you tip it and you pour it in so it runs gently down the side. Way too time consuming for me. 
think that was all I wanted to tell you about that one. Number three way is bottom watering. Equally too time consuming for me, but a lot of people like it. So say you would have a tray or a tub out here and just, you know, lay it on the floor and you would just take all your containers and sit a whole bunch of them in this water tray, maybe an inch of water. Mind you, I've never done it. I'm just assuming this is how they do it. And you let them all sit in the water tray for maybe an hour and they absorb all the water up from the bottom into the container. It's a fantastic way and more power to you if you want to do that. And if you only have, you know, five or ten containers, that's doable. But when you have 114 or 400 and some like Wendy Heim does out of wherever you are, you, and all you people who won the contest with the highest count, some people have 270 to up to 420 containers. I'm like small potatoes compared to some of you guys in the group. You guys are awesome. So those are the three ways to water. So let's get me water and quit talking so I can get gardening. And you can get out to yours. Okay. So literally, do I have it on the right setting? Hold on. Yeah. I use the shower. It's just a shower. Now, are seeds going to get disrupted? Yeah, I doubt it. This is like rain. It's just simulating rain. Now, why am I watering them if they already had condensation? Because <laughs> I'm pretending it just rained two days in a row. Mother Nature doesn't like do it on a schedule, so I'm not either. Whenever I have the time and I see half of them are running out of condensation. Sorry, I forget to hold you and the waterer. And I'll stand out here about 10 minutes. I soak in these puppies. I want them to be really wet because I'm probably at this time not going to water them every three days. But that's just a guess. Do not follow what I do. Follow what your containers need based on your climate. And then you watch me water these little um, sugar snap peas. You see, I've got those cups so pushed down in the mud. Even this, this is a fairly strong spray, does not move them. I have two holes drilled in the top. And that's how the water gets in. Plus, it's all in the tub and the water absorbs right under the cups. So you're getting some going in the top and some going in underneath. I'm just soaking it. And after I get off this video, I'll soak it a lot more. So maybe maybe eight minutes I'll be standing here at the very most. Because if they, they right now they need it. So that's how I water. How do you water your winter sewing containers? If you have another way, please let me know. Let everybody know down in the comment section um, if you have anything easier or another strategy besides pour, pouring it in, bottom watering, and spraying. Alrighty, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have so much coming out this year. I can't wait to show you. Um, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing milk jug sew, milk jug winter sewing or milk jug sewing all during the spring and summer as well and even into the fall for my fall garden. So I am sending you much love and enjoyment and joy from my garden to yours. I can't wait to give you the next video. I just did another one on uh, my grand tour which you kind of got a little bit, but I actually go in a lot of the containers and read to you everything I'm growing and give you sneak peeks down in. So watch for that as well. Take care and I'll see you on the next show. Bye-bye.